First of all, we have an intensive program. It's a summer program and what often happens is that students are either too busy in the year to be in a music theatre program or they're in a school music theatre program but they're just looking for a little bit extra, a little bit uh, more professional experience. So we must say that we have a tall order because we offer the beginning student a little taste of what music theatre arts is like. But we also offer the professional student um, a professional experience. And then in the end, this uh, performance is performed for an invited audience. It's open to the public. So it's not just, uh, you know, coming uh, parents coming at the end of the program for their students, but an uh, invited audience. That's really basically it. This is a really great opportunity to take the opportunity of an intensive. It's an intensive, like 20, 21 days, what we call it, 9.30 to 5.30. And we all know that we, we learn best in an intensive um, situation. We have Victoria Slaver as our choreographer and dance coordinator, and Timothy Askew, who is our stage director and our acting coach, and myself as a music director. The takeaway, really, is that I would say, number one, they have a blast of a time. They have a lot of fun. We, are, we challenge them. This age group loves to be challenged. They really do. And um, to sing uh, a run, a mini run of wonderful shows for a public audience in a professional theater. We're talking with lights, with costumes, with makeup, with wigs, the whole nine yards. Um, one student quoted that you could be, you have permission to be whoever you want to be, essentially. And that's the takeaway value, I feel. Pull, pull at the end of every uh, season, and we did Les Mis, Les Miserables, as you know, that's the, sort of takes the name of the show, Les Miserables, and at the end of Les Miserables, the students were just hungry for more rest. They were hungry for more drama, more intensity, and they were, they were hungry for, for something like Sweeney Todd. So what's unique about No Strings Theater, Music Theater Camp, is that here at this camp there's no distractions. The kids are totally focused on doing a show in the four weeks. Yes, they have training, but it's all to do with music theater. They have drama, they have dance, they have um, music, and they learn how to use those skills in a more focused and talented way. And then the afternoons are spent on the show, so we focus on a performance. And so they're getting as professional of an experience as possible. There isn't even there isn't even school on this side. There's just doing this for four weeks. And one, it builds a huge community feeling because when people are focused on doing something together, it, it breaks down all barriers and they become part of a common cause. And two, without the distractions, this is what they live, breathe, eat, and sleep for four weeks. And so there's no, nothing they can do that would become better at it. Just like whenever you focus on, on any particular thing in your life for a while, the focus and the intention is what creates the possibility of becoming more than you ever thought you could be. So my goal as a dance instructor in this course, and that's aside from being a choreographer, but my goal as a dance instructor is to make is to allow these kids to become so comfortable in their bodies that they, they, are, they are free to use them as instruments for telling them a particular story. And that, I always talk about the body being an instrument of communication. Other people use their voices only, or other people use a musical instrument, or other people use a printed word. Dancers, people with movement, use their bodies. We all use our bodies to talk all day long, but consciously doing it for theater is an art in itself. And one first needs to be comfortable in the body and feel not separated from the body, but 
inhabiting the body. And in the inhabiting of the body, you can bring any character that you decide on. After doing it last year, there was no, like, I couldn't not come back. Overall, it was probably the best experience of my life. Got to do, got to perform in downtown Toronto in front of lots of people, sold out shows. And it phenomenally helped me with experience as well as it increased my acting skills. And stretched me movement-wise and vocally. So overall, it was probably one of the best experiences of my life. Um, the 90s Sweeney, that'll be my fourth consecutive show with those things. And I keep going back because, well, first off, they do amazing shows, so I like doing the shows that they do. But the community is really great, and the staff is amazing, and the people that do the shows are really amazing too, and it's just the best camp I've ever been to. It's just, it's a really inspirational experience to see everyone who loves doing this um, all in one place.